What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am the one, the only, Hick Albert, back at you with another video. And today, giving y'all a little life update. Um, <clears throat> I'm going back to school. Um, I'm going to get my GED, or diploma, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And, yeah. I'm going to do that, and hopefully I'll be getting this job. I, I just applied at Walmart last night. Um, work there while I go to school. Um, and, yeah, that's what's going on with me. Um, so to all you motherfuckers out there, who talk shit about somebody with a GED, or without a GED, fuck off! Okay? I don't claim to be the smartest son bitch on earth, because I know I'm not. But I know damn well that I'm smarter than a lot of people out there. And I do mean a lot of people. So, without further ado, I'm going to pack us a pinch. Uh, dipping on Skull Classic Wintergreen today. I know it's backwards for y'all, but long cut. I don't like fine cut none. Uh, this shit's old as hell. Haven't been buying any new dip. A, don't have the money for it. B, uh, trying to quit. It's hard to quit, I'll tell you what. Got my mud jug here. Cherry bomb. Sticker on it. Give y'all a little update on my van. That son of a bitch is cleaned up. I, uh, my sister, or my girlfriend's sister, cleaned it up for me. And I mean, she really cleaned it. Thanks again, kid. If you're watching this, um, I took the seat directly behind the driver's seat, took that out, I'm thinking about putting my toolbox in there. I don't know yet. Gotta fix the door locks first. Don't want anybody to steal my tools, you know. But, um, yeah. Now you might be wondering what's up with this hat. Good old coonskin hat, you know. Well, my grandpa got this for me. And I've had this on bitch for years. It's not a real one, you know. It's, it's fake and that's not leather, it's fabric. But, uh, the tail's real, by God. And, yeah, I like wearing it. It's real cold in my bedroom because I keep the window open, so this kind of keeps me warm, you know. Um, yeah. Sorry about the mess in my bedroom over here. Been a lazy sack of shit. And been too lazy to clean my room. It, it's bad, you guys. It's... But, uh, that's what's been going on with me. 
Sorry, I ain't been uploading lately. I've been uh, been preoccupied with other stuff. Trying to get a job and what have you. And yeah. Now, I'm quitting, right? I still have over half of this tub of stokers to go. I, I'm trying to use up all the dip I have. Because I don't like to waste shit. So, with that being said, still have half this tub to go. It's like right there-ish. And then, yeah. ah, sorry about that. And then I have this big old. What is this, a pound? Yeah, like a pound bag of chaw. I've had this on bitch forever. That's still moist. Stoker's Tennessee Chew. I love the flavor on this, but it leaves me it leaves me with a real weird aftertaste. And that I don't like. So I'm probably gonna just keep this some bitch in my van and use it when uh I'm outside and shit. But I really love Stoker's Tobacco. I think I paid like not even 20 bucks for this big ass one pound bag of this. And it, it's good. It's good. I enjoy it. They got different flavors too. They got uh, like a black cherry. Uh, I don't know what all they have. Don't really care. All I know is it's good. But Stokers started out as a chaw company and then later in life later in life they started making dip like this. Bobby Stoker, the founder of Stokers, obviously. He's got a quote. It says, Great dip at a fair price. Right there on the tub. I know it's backwards to y'all some bitches, but I don't have a camera, so... Sorry. Hashtag not sorry. It's a... Uh, it's a real, real long cut. I mean, look at that. Just look at that. And the flavor, oh my god, it's got a good flavor. I've not had one dip by Stokers that I don't like. Um, I've had their mint, their natural, their wintergreen. Um, I've had their straight. Not the biggest fan on straight, but it's not bad. Better than Copenhagen's, actually. But, I know I keep saying, but yeah, I don't know what else to talk about, you know? I mean, y'all want to see the knives I keep by my bed? Yeah, sure, I'll show you the knives I keep by my bed. 
Got two little throwing knives. Little El Cheapos. Bought, picked these up at TSC for like 10 bucks or something. Figure what the hell. Keep this hunting knife by my bed. It's a Gerber. Got a little flint on there, you know. Light a fire with. Probably shouldn't be doing that inside, but oh well. Fucking way she goes, I guess. Keep a little pocket knife. Actually, I got two. Um, got this old Camillus. A little two-blade deal. I love this knife. Picked this up for a couple of bucks at a garage sale. Actually, I think I only paid a dollar for that. Yeah. Then I got this uh, Boy Scout knife. Picked it up at summer camp. It's a good little knife. Keep this by my bed in its sheath. It's a uh, cheap ass some bitch. Picked it up at uh, Bud K. I th yeah, Bud K. Came with this nice ass sheath. Honestly, the only reason I bought this knife was for the sheath, because it fits another one of my knives, which I don't know where it's at, but yeah. Um, let's see here. I don't know why, but I got this mallet I made here. By my bed. Don't know why I have it here, but it throws real well. So I guess if somebody walked into my room, I'd throw this at them to stun them and then throw a knife at them or just shoot them. You know, I don't know. But it. Shit! Got binoculars so I can spy on my neighbors. I know that sounds stalkerish, but my neighbors are assholes, so. They like to uh, push their snow across the road into our field in winter, so I, uh, I spy on them. Got CDs, even though I don't have a CD player currently. Got my fan over here. My lamp, that's what's giving off the light. And yeah. Got a license plate collection that's currently cover, covered up by my flags, you know. But that's just the way she goes, I guess. Can't all be perfect. Got my gun rack above my dresser there. What I want to do is I want to move my license plate collection over to this wall. I can't switch the camera. It'll turn off. And move my gun rack right over here where this flag is. And then put both my flags... Have my don't chat on me and then my confederate in my gun rack where my confederate flag is right over here. But that's it for this video. Just wanted to give y'all a little life update. Um, I'll keep y'all posted. Make more content. And yeah. Go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Catch y'all next time. Bye-bye.